Hi everybody, so in video 2043 we made this and it did not too badly actually, 7 or 8 volts out of it, something like that and I'll put a link at the end of this video to the original video but now I want to show you something utterly crackers Have a watch at the meter How about that? <laughs> I used a hairdryer about the same distance because I, I used it on the other one as well. Not a great test, but it does give us some kind of comparison. And this is doing not too badly at all. So we got about 20 volts out of it, which if you think about it is madness. Now what I've got here is an LED light bulb and we're going to turn the hairdryer on and see if we can get some light from it. So with all the best will in the world, that was a dramatic improvement. And of course you have to ask yourself the question, well, what did we do to it? Now, if you remember the first one, it was like this. The blades were solid and there was an exit hole at the bottom. And effectively what that makes this is a drag type turbine. That basically the wind hits it and it's the force of the wind hitting it that pushes it round if you like. And then there's an exit hole here. Now of course we had two of those as an exit in there and it was hitting this and we were getting extra out of that as the wind exited which is also why they had to be mirrored. So that worked really quite well and it was an interesting idea. This one, what I've done is I've basically hollowed out the centre. So these are twisted blades and we've got a nice exit hole here and of course it's identical here. What we've done is change the drag type into a lift type. So we've got a lift type turbine now. So this one can spin faster than the wind. This one can't because it's been pushed by the wind, but this one uses an element of lift as well as drag. And so we get a better performance out of this. Now you have to remember that this is actually a dual rotor. The concept here is identical to the concept here. Now we're not putting the blades on one rotor and doubling the blades, we're using a dual rotor which means we're using the extra bit to drive these back. Now if you're not sure about this, this is a hot topic in research and it's worth looking at some of the papers to explain it a bit more, but we're using this dual rotor system We've bent those blades round. That's all we've actually done. We just bent the blades round instead of having them sticking straight out. Having a dual rotor, we get an advantage. And now we've changed it from a drag to a lift, we're getting an advantage. Now, these are only my ideas. I don't know if this is right, but we certainly have a huge improvement between what we did here, where we got about seven, and what we did here, where we got about three times as much. So we can't say much about what this one actually does, but we can say a lot between this and this. We can do the comparison because we've done it in the same way. So we know that this performs better as a lift type when we're using this dual rotor system. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe. But ah, the um, changed files for this, I, I've updated the STL files on Thingiverse and there's a, a link in the description to the files and it'll have this updated rotor in the Thingiverse file. But anyway, thanks again guys. And please do remember to like and subscribe.